right now, I'm filming an interview right inside there. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the making of a video, and Gavin Booth joins us from Medical Productions, and this is really exciting. This is really exciting for you. I mean, you never thought that this day would come, did you? To be on New Day or to make music videos? Oh, to be on New Day, of course, <laughs> but that's another thing. But I mean, just to be able to um, make music videos and filmmaking as well. It's, it's exciting. It's been like the best year or two of my life, you know, and, and every day just seems to open up a new door, and it's, you know, it's, I'm, I'm thrilled. I couldn't be happier. Now tell me about some of the things that you've done, some of the people that you've met as well. Uh, well, it originally started, I snuck into a Third Eye Blind concert a couple of years ago and, and met the band and made a little video clip, and they hired me to do their tour video. Oh, and okay. then from there, their singer is dating Vanessa Carlton, the piano player that sang Thousand Miles, and I ended up doing her DVD, and then it's kind of just one opportunity has led to another. Well, by meeting one person, of mm -hmm. course, it just it's like a domino effect. Yeah. Now, we're going to talk about the making of the video. We're going to take a look at mm -hmm. uh, a clip of something that you've done. Maybe you can talk us through. Tell me what, uh, what goes on behind the scenes when you're putting this together. Sure. Um, this video is for Ashes of Soma. They're a band out of Windsor and LaSalle. They actually, their album just came out across Canada. Um, so this video is for their first single, Emancipate, and it, it takes place in a, a mental institution, and then there were scenes shot here at the Chubby Pickle in Windsor where we are this morning. So doing a music video, and these are sort of indie projects, so they're kind of low budget, so you're always faced with a lot of challenges of uh, time constraints and, and how can you get the best production value for the least amount of money and where are we going to find our indie actors that don't demand crazy salaries. So everybody that was in this video or accrued this video is, is from Windsor and they're either friends of sort of mimetic productions and, and people that we've worked with in the past or we do open casting calls sometimes. A few of the girls that are featured in this video are, are local models. They just wanted the chance to you know, be in a music video. Is that ever cool? Really interesting stuff that goes on. We're also going to see part of these videos that you've uh, put together. We'll chat a little bit more. You've got a music video premiere party going on here at the Chubby mm -hmm. Pickle. We're going to talk a little bit about sure. that. This is the place to be this Friday, I'm telling you. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Thanks a lot, Gavin, for joining us. No problem. We'll chat a little bit more in just a moment. But first, we'll send... Well, thanks so much, Cheryl and Gavin Booth joins us from Mimetic Productions. And I'm telling you, we've been talking a little bit about putting a video mm -hmm. together, music video. You've done some film. You've done some music videos with uh, a lot of big-name people. Maybe you can tell me before we get into seeing you know a clip of the video mm -hmm. just how it feels you know meeting these people what it means to you and maybe maybe better yet you know mm -hmm. if, if I'm somebody who's looking at making a music video why should I go to some local guy here and I don't mean it in a, in a demeaning way but why should I go mm -hmm. to someone here versus maybe going out to sure. California or New York and getting someone there I, I think I just most of the people that I've worked with I've had the chance to befriend them and actually become friends so that's part of the thing where it's you know, well, we're going to get a video guy, do we want to get a new guy that we don't know? Or, hey, let's just call Gavin, because we always seem to have fun. And we, Momentic, we always try to make the process fun for people. And they have a lot of respect for you, the people that you meet. Yeah, I think it just, I mean, it, and not to toot my own horn, but it just comes down to sort of creative choice. It, it's, it's apples and oranges, you know, like between companies. Or, you know, one person will do it this style, one person will do it this style. So it's just sure. connecting with certain artists that, that want to work with whatever style we have to offer. Well, it's, it's really interesting that you say that, because we ended up finding out a little bit of about what these people had to say. Oh, and really? Yeah, you're gonna be surprised by this. How about we roll the clip and you can hear what they had to say about you. Working with Gavin? Gavin did not come um, out here from Canada on a plane. He actually walked on water. Gavin, those things that you did for us? He smells good, he's clean, and he's fresh. Horrid. <laughs> he's a gentle soul. Lord, you have been stalking me the whole time. And when he holds me in his powerful arms, I feel warm and safe. Gavin is a genius. It's like that. Nice. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? <laughs> you walk on water, huh? Um, I, I try not to do that in public, you know. Well, it, you know, it's nice to see what, you know, some of the opinions of, of the people that mm -hmm. you worked with. And I mean, and to be able to put something together like that. There is, quickly tell me, there's a music video premiere party going mm -hmm. on here tonight at the Chubby Pickle. It's, what time is that? It's actually tomorrow night. Oh, Friday, at, at, sorry. Yeah, Friday at 9 p.m. Okay. at the Chubby Pickle. The band is Ashes of Soma, local band from the Windsor LaSalle area. Okay. Um, and they're, they're having success on radio across Canada right now. Their album's out, and I directed their music video. Some of it was shot here in the Chubby Pickle. Uh, it was all produced in Windsor, and uh, they decided to have the local premiere right where they shot the video. So they're actually going to perform that night as well. And uh, it's, they're a great band. They're a great rock band. So anybody who likes rock and roll should come out and see. Should be you know, here. Be at the video premiere because it actually is going to go to much music in the next week or two. So it's sort of like the first chance to screen the video before. And I think there's actually... 
new WI viewers right now get a sneak peek at it before anyone else. They, they are going to, and we're going to do that in just a couple of seconds. What we're going to do is we're going to chat a little bit uh, later on about this. We're going to show the mm -hmm. video. Stay tuned. This is an awesome, awesome video, but we're not Booth joins us for Mimetic Productions. And this is um, really interesting, some of the things that you've been able to tell us about putting a video yeah. together. We've talked about the much-anticipated video. We're going to roll a clip. You can tell me a okay. little bit more about this band itself. Sure. Um, Ashes of Soma are from Windsor. Their album came out uh, in the last month. It's called Exit 647. Uh, it's available across Canada at music stores like h and and Music World. Uh, they're getting some radio play now across Canada. They're going to be going on uh, some tour dates with Social Code across Canada. And uh, they, they still have a whole lot of hometown love, so they play the Chubby Pickle. Uh, whenever they can, that they're in town. Um, the guys in the band, they, they actually, it's kind of funny, they went to the same high school as the members of the Tea Party. So oh, really? two bands to break out of Windsor that went to the same high school. I keep telling them there must be something in the water around, uh, There's gotta be. around the area. And uh, just really, really great guys. Fantastic time working with them on the video. We've actually already produced another video for them that will be released in the fall. Um, so they're just kind of one of the bands we're really excited about having a, a working relationship with uh, from Windsor. It's been great working with all these bands out of Los Angeles and all over all over the states. But it's also really fun to kind of work with somebody who's independent at our level and, and in our age bracket. And we just kind of have a lot of fun whenever we get together and work on a project. And we just kind of hope there's going to be a point five or ten years where we can look back and be like, look what we started in Windsor and we're able to sort of carry, uh, carry outside of Windsor and take to a national level. Local guys gone big. Why don't we take a listen to uh, some of the music sure. so we get an idea as to uh, this great band that's coming up. Uh, the scenes of the Chubby Pickle, the concert scenes, were filmed in one evening, and then the stuff in the hospital ward was filmed in about a five or six hour period the following day, so mm -hmm. about a day and a half. A day and a half? Mm -hmm. That's it? Yep. It's, I always thought so much longer. That's, that's good that it only took that long, but a lot of work goes into it. It's the editing and all that yeah, stuff that the, ends up... The editing and the effects is sort of take a little while longer. Music videos aren't, because you're only dealing with a three to four minute time piece, it's, it's not as uh, difficult as to put together an entire film. Okay. Now the music video premiere party is going on at Chubby Pickle Friday. That's tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Okay. This is, is it all ages or is it all ages to a certain point? There is, they're doing two performances. They're going to have one show at 6 p.m., which is all ages, and okay. then a second show that's 19 plus at 9 p.m. So they will be performing at both shows and premiering the video at both shows. Okay. Anything really interesting coming up for you? Interesting for me, I, I just finished working with the Tea Party on a music video and a DVD oh, project. Um, and another band, The Afters, uh, out of Dallas, they're number one on MTV right now. I've, I've been shooting their tour video and working with those guys, so that's been a lot of fun. We'll have to get you back on when you do those too. That'd be great. When we come back, we'll chat a little bit more. But in the